Thanks very much, Nick. Um, well, as Nick mentioned, the celebrity race was one of the, the highlights of the event last year, and I think it's fair to say that the, uh, the guys and girls taking part obviously enjoy themselves because a few of them have agreed to come back and do it all again. So let's get some of them up on stage to, to have a chat about it. Please welcome Heston Wimental, Charlie Borman, and Brendan Cole. Um, you were uh, you obviously enjoyed yourself last year because uh, you all the people who agreed to come back and do it all again. What what was it about the event that um, that you liked most? Well, I'm still in one piece. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm still in one piece, which is good. Um, and also, I thought of oh, this year. Okay. <laughs> we weren't going to do that. Until later. <laughs> no, no, this year I'm going to actually have to try and finish the race. Um, so uh, I got my racing license for uh, for the race last year. Absolutely lovely. Um, when we started off, there's a bit of confusion. I shouldn't tell you this because it might give me an advantage this year. But I, all my brushing up on the on, on the way the race format would go in the first the green the green flag lap, and I think there were three or four of us that thought there was going to be a green flag lap. So we were told when you do after your green flag lap, you come in, you pull up, stop, keep the car clutch down, car in gear, you're ready for racing start. So you start what I think is a green flag flag lap, and the car in front of me will spit. I can't even see out my window there's so much smoke. I was thinking, that's a bit fast for a green flag lap. Anyway, the four of us got left behind. And in my brave um, but complete lack of technical ability attempt to try and catch up, I went sideways around most corners, but the wrong way. And I hit this one curve. I'm not sure what bend it's on, but it's quite a high curve. And I'm praying that puncher, buck with the wheel. That was it. So this year, I'm going to try and finish. So a bit of a learning experience then, wasn't it? Yeah, a big one. Yeah, it was great fun though. And it's for a great cause, the Bobby Moore Foundation, which is which makes it makes it more important. No, absolutely. But Brenton, tell us about your experiences last year. It's a phenomenal thing to do. Um, I think you'll agree. It's, a, it's a, a massive, massive weekend in terms of the classics, in terms of just motor racing in general. And to be here, the home is British Grand Prix, um, British motor racing, to be here and to experience the weekend and to actually p take part in a race. It's one of the most exciting things I've ever done, and especially seeing Heston go off. That was another exciting thing. Um, for all, all of us to be here, um, there's a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot of banter, there's a lot of... Um, sort of stuff behind the scenes that make it all very, very exciting. And as Histon just mentioned, um, the cause to be able to raise money for such a, a, a big thing, and, uh, and bowel cancer in particular, such an under, underrated cancer, if you like, in terms of how much publicity there is and awareness to make it better. To have the chance to be here, experience it, to see Rick go and be pampered at the pampering house, um, all these little things make it a great weekend, a great cause, and I think we're all just very, very excited to be taking part again, and, and hopefully, uh, last year, my first time driving this circuit, uh, I had no idea what I was doing, no clue whatsoever, so I feel like I've got a little bit more confidence, so um, hopefully I can finish further than 8th or 9th. Than I, yeah, last year. I was going to ask you, how do you rate your chances? Have you been getting some tips from Rick, our uh, winner last year? I intend to have at least 10 racing days between now and then, just so I can stay in touch with these big boys, because uh, if you look at our boots, these are pretty new. Um, worn once, you look at their boots and they've worn, what? How many times you raced in the last year, Rick? 25, did you say? 25. So um, these boys are pretty good. Uh, it'd be nice just to somewhere stay close to them and, and, and hope that we can uh, at least get around and, and as Heston said, finish. Stay and close it, to me, he might not even finish. <laughs> I know you haven't had a, a proper chance to get a look at the, the cars you're going to be racing in the Morgans, but there are the picture of it behind you. What's your first impression? How expensive are they? <laughs> could be a lot, could a lot, be a lot of money down, down the crazy. They look phenomenal, don't they? It's exciting. Charlie, you're joining us for the race. First time you're going to be racing this year. Now, you do have a little bit over these guys, though, because you have actually driven this car, haven't you? Um, yeah, I did. I, I drove it around uh, Goodwood Racetrack, and um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a fun car. It's, it's, it's sort of, I mean, I'm not really a big car person, so I'm more, I'm, I'm more motorbikes, really. I can fall off those quite well, so, so uh, I'm sure I can crash this. Um, <laughs> And what did they say? If you're not crashing, you ain't trying, I think, is, yeah. is the expression. So there you go. You know? um, so much better. But, uh, no, but, no, but I, think, I think it's very important. I, I, I had a brush with, 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 with cancer last year. I, I lost one of my testicles. Um, we buried it, and it's, uh, it's quite happy now. But, but, um, 
Uh, and so, so I, I was very lucky. Testicular cancer is is easy thing to uh, to to cure. Um, actually, my dog. Um, that's how I found out about testicular cancer. Um, he was at the vet with my wife, and, and it's a quick story, but it does have relevance. Um, and, uh, and he was checking my dog's nuts just at the end, and, and, and he said to my wife, there's a little anomaly there, you should, you should check, keep an eye on it. And my wife said, Christ, one of my husband's nuts is a bit hard. So um, uh, that's how I found out about it, and, uh, and, and I went straight off and ended up um, on the slab four days later having, having it taken off. So it is very important to, to, to look after men's health and, and to look after yourselves. So I know, and I have a false one now, and I can flick it. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt. Um, so, and apparently it weighs a little, bit, a little bit less than my other testicles, so um, I have a little weight advantage over the others. <laughs> Um, so it is a great cause and, and, and that's one of the reasons why I'm very happy to be here and um, uh, obviously to beat all the guys here which I'm sure that will never happen but, um, but no but it's fantastic and, and I think it sounds like an incredible day and, and I'm really really excited to be, you know to be part of it I so, probably shouldn't make this link but you do need balls to drive around the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit are you, are you right, any I've only got one that's a bit unfair a Fair bit below the belt isn't it <laughs> Are you, are you in any way daunted by Reiki? I mean, as you say, you've not done it, you've done lots of bike stuff, but not, not much with cars. Are you, are you daunted about making your race debut at such a, such a famous track? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think I've, I've ridden around here on a, on a motorbike, but, you know, the, the motorbike lines are very different to a, to a car line. And, and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm, I've got to get past my, 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 my flag test this afternoon, <laughs> so I might not even be right. No, I will. I've learned my flags. <laughs> So, <clears throat> the chequered flag is go, isn't it? So Don't worry, you keep on taking that test you pass it, mate. We'll get you through it one way or another. <laughs> okay. I'm suspecting a lot of, I mean, last year there was a lot of camaraderie amongst you all, but boy, are you all competitive people as well, and I'm not supposed that's going to be any different this year, is it? Look at Brendan's face there. He's already got that mean, fighting look at her. I'm not competitive at all. I just enjoy the day. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, enjoy our music. I got dressed the quickest. Um, so. You had less to get in your suit, that's why. Uh, mine doesn't fit, that's why I'm not wearing it, because it actually won't go past my stomach. You know, I put a little bit of weight on when I was recovering from cancer. That's my, that's my excuse. Listen, thanks to you all. It's been a somewhat revealing interview, somewhat more revealing than I uh, originally anticipated. Um, these guys are going to be uh, around um, for the rest of the day. We have the, the, some of our other celebrities that are here as well. So if you'd like to have a chat with any of them at some point, then uh, please feel free to come up and ask me about that, and I'm sure we can organise it. But for now, uh, a round of applause, please, for Hester, Charlie and Brendan.